Welcome, Idaho Partners for Good new partners and capacity builders. This video will help you get started on how to access the links that you'll need for the onboarding process. First, we're going to start by opening the welcome email from Blossom. And on the welcome email, it won't look exactly like this, but you will have a graphic. And this graphic is a checklist for you as you go through the onboarding process. And everything that we have, please take the time to read it. Um, I'm not going to do an extensive, extensive onboarding video. This is just to help you um, navigate and access things correctly. So on this checklist, the first thing that you're going to do for onboarding is sign a code of ethics. And this code of ethics is to help outline um, the expectations that we have for ourselves and for each other um, and is something to help keep us all accountable. That will come in a separate email from Blossom for you to sign, so please make sure you read that and sign that. The second step for onboarding is to complete a skills matrix. The third step is to complete learning modules. And the fourth step is not required, but we would ask that you consider investing some of your charitable dollars with Idaho Partners for Good. So today I'm going to show you how to access steps two and three, the skills matrix and the learning module. So let's close out this graphic. And in the welcome email um, or in another email, you will receive a link with classroom.google.com. We're going to go ahead and click that link and it'll take us to the Google Classroom. You'll get a new page that looks like this and you will need a Google account in order to access the Google Classroom. Idaho Partners for Good uses a lot of Google applications and Google collaboration, so it'll be really helpful to have a Google account anyway. And you will create a Google account if you don't have one using any internet browser that you feel comfortable with. So I'm going to use Firefox right now and I'm just going to go ahead. Again, any internet browser will work. Just go to google.com. And up in the top right hand corner, there is a sign in button. So this is the Google homepage and we're going to go to the sign in button. Now, Google is much more than just email, but it's asking if you want to sign in um, and you can put your email or phone. Since you don't have a Google account yet, you're going to click on this create account button. You're creating it for yourself and you're just going to fill out all the information. Now, once you have a Google account, you will be able to access the Google Classroom. So again, from the welcome email, there's a classroom link. Go ahead and click that and you'll be taken to this page. Now, if you have multiple accounts, then you can um, click here and you can choose which account you want to use. Whatever account you want to use, you're just going to join the class. So this is our Google Classroom for new partner and capacity builder onboarding. This first page is the stream and this stream is like a bulletin board. We put different information up here. Any other announcements we might put in here as well. Everything that you're going to need for the onboarding is under this classwork tab. So we're going to click the classwork tab. And if we move from top to bottom, then that's pretty much the onboarding. The first step again is the code of ethics that you'll receive in an email from Blossom. This right here is just a copy of the code of ethics for your reference. So you can click on it if you want. Read through so you have a copy to know what you've signed. And I actually did this beforehand, so I've already clicked turn in. But now mine is saying turned in and the bubble is gray. I'm going to view the assignment. And it's not a requirement to say that you've turned it in because we will receive it when you sign it from the link. But I wanted to just click turn in so that I knew that I turned it in. So yours would look marked as done. 
So I did it, arc is done, now it says turned in. So now I'm finished with that assignment, I'm going to go back to the classroom, I can click on classwork, and I'm just going to move down. So go to ethics, finished, the next thing to do was skills matrix, this link right here, this Google form. This is a skills matrix and it's asking what are your time, talents, and treasures that you have available that you want to invest in Idaho Partners for Good. So please take the time to look through this skills matrix and fill it out. And at the end, click submit. There will be a submit button down here. Once you've clicked submit, then on your Google Classroom, it will show that it was turned in instead of assigned and then the bubble will turn gray. After the skills matrix, step three for onboarding was doing the modules. There are three modules. Unless you are on the impact team, there are four. But if you are not on the impact team, there are modules one, two, and three. So the first thing you'll do is watch the video Click on that assignment, go to the video, and it'll pop up right here on your screen. Once you're done watching this video, then you just close it out. And you can mark it done if you want for your records, but what we really um, want to know is your Module 1 reflection. And you click on that assignment, and it'll open the Google Form. You'll answer all the questions, and at the end, click Submit. Okay, and once you've submitted, then your Google Classroom will show that it was turned in. So you'll do the same thing for Modules 2 and 3. In Module 3, you'll learn about monthly volunteer hours. Um, so if you could keep track of the hours that you volunteer with Idaho Partners for Good, that would be awesome. So we'll have a new one every month. And then at the bottom, we have other helpful documents. Right now we have a glossary. Because we use some specific lingo for Idaho Partners for Good, this is a glossary to help you be kind of informed about what those acronyms or what those terms are. If there are any other helpful documents, we'll toss them right in here too. Now you probably won't finish all of the modules all at once, so if you want to access this later in the future, you can always go back to your email and click on the link. Or another way to access the Google Classroom is up in your launch pad, up in the right hand corner of a Google page as your initial in a bubble and then your launch pad next to it. You just click on that launch pad and you can scroll down to find Google Classroom. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the Google Classroom and you click on the new partner and capacity builder onboarding. Then all of your work is under classwork. Now this is, this onboarding is so that you are equipped with information and um, kind of know what Idaho Partners for Good is, what we do, and where you fit into that equation because you've got gifts, talents, time, talent, treasure that when done together can do a lot greater good than if we just try to do it on our own. So we are thrilled that you want to be part of Idaho Partners for Good and we look forward to working with you soon.